Welcome to Weld.com. I'm working off of an Everlast MTS 221 SI and I want to duplicate something that I did here not too long ago. Uh, 6061 aluminum 316. I want to run 332nd 4943 filler wire and I want to pulse across this miter. What I did was built some grating across some uh, 48 inch by 12 inch holes for air on the back side of our giant air conditioners in one of our uh, buildings here on campus. And I want to do this because I, I just want to duplicate it. I didn't pulse it the first time. All I did was uh, a straight up AC TIG and I didn't dress those up, they looked okay. The only thing I did was barely radius this and we bolted them into the concrete just for, just for air. But now I wanna, I wanna do this. It, I had gouged a little bit in the back side of this and ran a weld deep and then I came out. This one I just barely chamfered a little bit and I just wanna do like a lay wire pulse just to see if it'll lay in there and see if we can get something acceptable. Again, I'm running off of this and I've never run this pulse on this particular machine, so that's what I want to do. I'm going to get my sleeves on, find my hood. Oh, there it is right there. I'll use that one. I'll be back in just a little bit. Uh, today I'm going to run a, <coughs> a, a Rotoflex torch, which I think is kind of cool because I'm going to operate this like a pencil and I'm going to go across here. So I should be able to stay at the same just rotate my wrist and stay with this weld. My pulse settings are this. If I can run through the numbers here, my amperage is at 200. My background amperage is 40% of that. My pulses are two pulses per second. My hertz are at uh, 100. So the, al the alternating current is set at 100 hertz. So let's get the cameras reset and we'll go. Quit it. I think I need to do this backwards and start out here on the heat sensitive. I ended it out there. I just I apparently wasn't paying attention. I know that I did them the opposite when I did them before, but camera guy had me all flustered here wanting instructions. And, um, so it looks like, I mean, I floored this at 200 amps on the pulse out here and it looks like it's crowned up a little bit. And it's almost like I couldn't get off of it enough over here without snubbing the arc. So definitely I, I went backwards in my sequence and I apologize for that. Again, the pulse effect is in there, finish bead. Also another thing that we did um, on the last ones to finish all of the aluminum, I took a uh, rowlock wheel and a die grinder and put kind of a skip sand around here and because I can't duplicate the, the finish of the original aluminum. so. Uh, interesting project. I want to do some more work on this machine and crank through some numbers and some variations here and kind of study and take some notes. But I see some good things here on, on the AC pulse side of this as well. I think I forgot to mention, I went through all the parameters except one. I was 50% on time. 50% on time, 40% background, two pulses per second. 30% cleaning action, 100 hertz. Feels like I'm still forgetting something. Anyway, 
I want to give my uh, buddy at Lambton Welding Supply in Wichita, Kansas, Mr. Jerry Torgerson, I want to thank you very much for supporting our program here at Cowley College and hooking us up with some 49-43 aluminum filler wire. Appreciate that immensely. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe to the videos.